A bill to renew jobless benefits for more than one million long-term unemployed Americans passed a key test vote in the Senate today. The bill's first hurdle cleared with a 60 to 37 vote. President Obama applauded the move as an important step, saying the three-month extension is for people who are out there actively looking for work and need the help. We make this promise to our fellow Americans who are working hard to get back on their feet because when times get tough, we are not a people who say you're on your own. We're people who believe that we're all in it together. And we know there but the grace of God go I. Stu Varney is the host of Varney and Company on the Fox Business Network, and he's my guest in studio. Great to see you, Stu. Gretchen. All right, so the president comes out uh, to talk about these unemployment benefits. He got what he was looking for in the Senate. They basically have said, yeah, they're going to pass this. They got six Republican votes. What's going to happen when it goes over to the House? Probably it will not succeed. It will probably be voted down. This is a three-month extension of unemployment benefits at a cost of $6 billion. It's not paid for by cuts any place else, and it's only for three months. It's not a very attractive prospect for those who want to restore prosperity to the overall economy. My guess is this goes down to defeat in the House. We're looking right now on the screen at the GOP senators who decided to say yes to this. Now, in the past, I mean, this has been going on for six years. Many people have said that unemployment has become a so-called entitlement in our nation. Do you agree with that? It looks like it, doesn't it? it? It really does, because we've gradually extended and extended and extended the length of time that someone can claim these benefits. And now we've come to another extension, but it's only for three months. What happens? After three months, it's highly unlikely that the employment situation will have changed dramatically. We're going to go through this all over again, another fight. Gretchen, at the heart of this, I think, is politics. This is pure politics. The president knows that we're not going to restore prosperity by extending unemployment benefits for three months. What he wants to do is to show that I am doing something. I have a heart. I know we've got a problem. I'm doing something. Yeah, are those callous Republicans, they're the ones who are doing but, nothing. But speaking of the Republicans, I want to show you what John Boehner, the Speaker of the House, had to say about it, because I think that m almost everyone would be in favor of extending them if there were added cuts to pay for it. I think that's the essence of the problem here. Here's what he said. One month ago, I personally told the White House that another extension of temporary emergency unemployment benefits should not only be paid for, but include something to help put people back to work. To date, the President has offered no such plan. If he does, I'll be happy happy to discuss it, but right now the House is going to remain focused on growing the economy and giving America's unemployed the independence that only comes from finding a good job. So implicit in that statement is what I was saying earlier. Why would the president and Democrats not be in favor of finding a way in order to pay for this? They want to portray the Republicans. I, I'm talking pure politics here. I think they want to portray the Republicans as callous. You don't care about those people who are unemployed, on welfare, or whatever. You don't care. You are heartless. I have a proposal. You are the party of no that says, no, we're not going to do it. Mm. The president this week is rolling out part of his plan to deal with this income gap. Mm -hmm. Extend unemployment benefits, raise the minimum wage, and introduce these promise zones where you target help to specific areas. Nobody believes that if even all three of those measures were passed, that we would suddenly, miraculously, start to create four, five, six hundred thousand jobs a month well, and return to an unemployment rate of five percent. Well, and that's what it's all about, is jobs. It is. All right. Stu, thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you.